So this is uh, actually the very first time I've driven the car this year and the first time I've driven it after the Pikes Peak Hill Climb last year for 2012. So, uh, you know, it brought back memories and uh, right off the bat the car performed really well and I was doing some lead laps with the ISF CCSR with two LFAs behind me. So uh, I tried to get away a little bit, but uh, with Paul Walker behind me, um, it was a little bit hard to do that. But once I got behind him, him and the LFA, uh, I knew that the LFA was going to be fast on the straights, but as soon as we got into the corners, I noticed that our CCSR was catching up. So, you know, the performance is there, um, and uh, if we can get a little bit more horsepower, I think the straightaways wouldn't be a problem either. So last year, we found out that we were lacking a little bit of horsepower, and uh, so we had to analyze you know, what, were, what were our options. What we, we had uh, planned was to upgrade the motor, and uh, at that altitude at Pikes Peak, I mean, we were going up to 14,111 feet, so uh, we lose about 40% of our horsepower. So uh, it's really noticeable up there, and the key to having a successful race up there is just to stay consistent, uh, to re reduce the loss of horsepower, and just keep performance to the ground. So we're gonna try to up our horsepower game this year, try to tune the suspension a little bit more, and test our new uh, set of tires. It's going to be a little bit of redemption from last year and we're going to try to analyze what we did last year and hopefully apply everything we learned into this year's race and see if we can come up with better results and a better showing.